Two motorcycle crashes in the Springs this weekend alone have authorities reminding us about the importance of safe driving habits. A man is still in critical condition after he lost control of his motorcycle around 6.30 last night near the intersection of Barnes and Austin Bluffs. Two hours before that, two riders were, pace, were racing at the intersection of Constitution and Union. One of the bikes hit a car and the bike rider was treated for minor injuries. New at 10, KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live at the most serious of the two crashes, the intersection of Chromium and Sapphire Drive. Scott? Well, Greg, state troopers say that the driver in the crash here was not wearing a helmet and was speeding when he crashed through a fence behind me there. And it was all because he apparently lost control on material on the street that was left over from recent winter storms. It's called anti skid sand or gravel. It provides traction for drivers on slick surfaces, but it didn't help a motorcyclist who was seriously hurt at this intersection. Where you can see plenty of the material on the pavement. We had a, a motorcycle that possibly lost control being on those kinds of gravel roads, um, uneven road, and ended up losing control. Motorcycles can be particularly vulnerable to loose material on streets and roads. It's why Jeff Hall sold his bike two years ago after scary close calls on the stuff. We had come to the intersections and got the back tire was slid on, on this gravel. So it was um, a thing where my wife finally said I had to get rid of the bike. Springs police and safety advocates issued an alert late last year after learning that nearly half of the city's fatal traffic accidents were two motorcycle riders. And authorities are hoping they won't see that happen again this year. A few hours before the serious crash, police say two motorcycles were racing at Constitution and Union when one of them hit a car. One rider received minor injuries and was cited for DUI and driving with a revoked license. A motorcycle safety trainer says he can't do much about irresponsible riders, but safety classes do help in driving on loose material. And the only way we can do that is in an upright position and under a controlled speed. The, uh, this is a problem, but uh, most motorcyclists know about it and try to avoid it. Every now and then, uh, we can't. Now, the video we're showing you now is the aftermath of a fatal motorcycle crash in Denver this weekend. The suspect is a woman accused of driving the car that killed the victim. And another biker was found dead in Denver after he went off the road last night. That is still under investigation. Now, safety is something that authorities want all of us to keep in mind especially until the streets get cleaned up a little bit of all that excess gravel and anti-skid material. Reporting live in East Colorado Springs tonight, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.